Hey everyone, what's up? It's me, Cobux Fire here today, and I am here to show you guys my entire Bakugan collection, which we have all scattered around here. Um, these are my few Bakugan that I have from my old generations, from when the game was in its prime back then, and then, as you guys can see over there, most of my reboot Bakugan. I got a few cards, got some instructions over here, got the cards over there. Got my rose quartz crystal <laughs> right here as well. Um, those are some of my older Bakugan. Actually, just a few of my older Bakugan. I would have had more, but, you know, time and the years and, you know, being a child, that can really put some wear on them. Uh, I do have a, actually, a Mentagon. I might grab that later, but it depends on some time. But anyway, I want to show you guys this video. So I hope you guys are enjoying this, and, uh... Here we go. So I think the first thing I want to show you guys is the cards here. So I'll start off with, I'll show the character cards actually with the Bakugan. So that'll be just over there. All right, so starting off with the Pyrus cards, uh, we have, I have Hyper Hydros, which is a, um, Hex foil card. It's uh, evil of the Pyrus uh, Hydros, which I think I will be getting soon for my birthday. I don't know. It has a B power of 800, damage of 4. And when you play an action on this, it gets plus 2 damage. So that's pretty good. I also have Meteoric Lance, which is a really good common card, especially for if it gives you plus 11 and damage that's pretty good i also have meltdown which is destroy an energy card magma boost that's what i'm gonna be i do like the i do actually like the uh the background that just for it but the showing magma just coming up out of the ground in the park yeah very dangerous molten helix that just looks like something a god would be doing to like set up a, a barrier somewhere <laughs> I like this one. It gives you. It says plus two damage and double strike. So that'll be plus four damage. Dragos Fury plus four Fury. If you have no cards in hand, double strike. So that'll be plus eight. And then this is my super rare Cinder Coil card, which I do like. Showing Fangs on there, coiled up, letting the fire be all around them. And it says to destroy. All enemy heroes. So that's really good. Moving on to the Ventus cards. I have Hyper Fangzor. B power 400. Damage is 6. Takes 2 energy just to use. And when this opens. Opposing Bakugan are going to get. Minus 3 damage. So that's really good. Puts a good level of protection on you. As well when you roll that Bakugan out. Endless Growth. This is actually one of my first cards I ever got. Um, its energy count is really endless, so you can put as many energy as you want into it. You for you may use any number of energy to play this. For each energy used, give either Bakugan plus one hundred B or plus one damage. So that's like so. Let's say I play ten energies, then that means I'd be given either ten damage or one thousand. Is in uh, B power, which is actually really good for a uh, air, like an AR card. I don't know what AR stands for. Um, this is Razor Claws. I got this with Mansonoid Ultra, which was also my first Bakugan. So plus two damage, and if you have the most energy cards in play, seven plus damage instead, and that's the Turbo. Wild Strike, which actually does, which actually does look pretty upsetting. Ventus Chalk literally just annihilated that Fangzor. I mean, the eyes are shriveled up. Everything is bad. So, negative four damage. So, I, I don't know. Is this for the opponent? Is this for the opponent's effect? Or is this for ours? I'm going to say this for the opponent's. Energize this uncharged. Hmm. Interesting. And then this card comes with uh, Maxator. 
especially the Arliss Maxator. Strength, this is actually Strength of Maxator, and you get plus 8. 8 damage for it, which is good. Cycling Insure. Itchor, if I said that correctly. So, minus 8 damage. Then we turn this to the bottom of your deck. So that's really good. Alright, so then, Repel Pyrus. Repel Ventus. Ventus Repelling Pyrus, that's actually new. And Repel Outsiders, stop all non-Ventus attacks, which is good. This video is going to be a long one, I can tell, so I'm going to speed it up a bit. Alright, so Hyper Masonite Ultra, B-Power 800, damage of 4. Flooding Waters. Flooding Waters, you guys can read the info on them, so you guys can see. Ice Barrier, I do have, I think, a couple of those. Tidal Wave, plus 7 damage. Ice Elation, plus 8 damage, if you only have one open Bakugan. Icicle, plus 6. Ebb, I like the Arquas Artulian. I can't wait to see Artulian Ultra come out. Ooh, I want that Bakugan so bad when it comes out. Comes out. Plus 2, Flow, if you've played another card this turn, plus 5 instead. So that would be incredible. Fixation, yeah, Cobra's doing his job. Trapped the Bakugan that did not open this turn. Cycling Thoughts, draw two cards and turn this card to the bottom of your deck. Hurricane Slash, I got three of these. <laughs> so that's, yeah, that's a lot. Diamond Garganoid Ultra. Evolves from the Garganoid Ultra. Ooh. If I get a Diamond Bakugan, I want the Diamond Garganoid Ultra. Which, it's pretty cool. So B power 700, damage of 9 if it lands on a shield, plus 800 B. So that would be 1,500. Hold on, give me a second here. Oh, my nose. I have two Titan Mantanoid Ultra cards. So I guess the darkest one is kind of weak. So I guess the weaker Bakugan they get evolution cards. So this one. B power of 400, damage of 10, which is actually pretty high. And we discard a card, this gets plus 400 B, so that would be 810. That's awesome. Alright, punish. And it makes me wonder why exactly do they show a black box, a darkest box gun punching a chaos box gun? Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, that looks like, you know. The black, the, I'm gonna, I hate saying this, but the black guy punching the white guy. Um, it, 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 it reminds me, it also reminds me of the time when I actually did punch my friend across the face. It's because he said something stupid. Technically, he deserved it. Um, cease chaos. Stop chaos. Chaotic darkness. That, I don't know what Bakugan, that looks like a rattle noid right there because I'm the V. It looks like a Rattlenoid. Choose a player to discard a card. This is interesting. Curse of Darkness. This is nice too. Sacrifice. You may discard a card for minus 10 damage instead. So that would be interesting. I have Dark Boosts um, which is plus 5 damage. Cycling Madness. So we got Cycling Thoughts and now Cycling Madness. Yeah, he looks like he's high. <laughs> you draw a card and your opponent discards a card. Return this card to the bottom of the deck. Only three energy. That's not bad. It's not bad. On rival jump plus 900 B for only five energy. That is actually not bad. I think that's worth it. Right of darkness. Right of darkness, I mean. Oh, China Riot, you psychotic girl. Choose a player to discard a card for each darkest Bakugan on your team. I think I might put that in my deck. I think I might decide to put it in the deck over here someday. That's on my darkest. So now I have Chaos going for us here. And it starts off with my super rare Bodyguard plus two energy just to play. One frost, one frostbite, then one damage for each point of frostbite that Bakugan has. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, then we have flip card. Light as a feather. Put this into your hand and draw a card. So that's pretty good. I think that could have come as a save card. So let's say you go to chaos and you're taking damage. This plays. Put this flip. So a flip card. It says you can. You have to play a flip card. So if I said that correctly. So that means I play this, and then whatever the next card is, I just take that one. So that'd be like, what, outside of the damage, I guess? I wouldn't really know how that would work. I'd have to see that. I'd have to see how that would work. Um, so you guys, comment down in the comment section below. How do you think that would work for this card? But uh, I like this. That looks like Hyper Pegatrix. Hyper Chaos. Chaos Hyper Pegatrix. It looks like. But yeah, it says put this card into your hand and draw a card. So that's the three energy just to play. Also, guys, for you guys who don't know, that's how you could tell this card would be a good flip card for energy because it would have that symbol on the back of it. Heroic Inspiration with five Chaos Trucks, literally. Draw a card for each hero you have in play. I feel like I said transportation. When it's inspiration. But for just two energy, that is good. Halt Darkest. This is my Hex Foil common card. Halt Darkest. Stop Darkest. And then we have yeah, another Halt Darkest. And then I have actually I have three Halt Darkest. And then two Halt Oculus. So yeah, that's pretty good. Open those booster packs. You're gonna need them. All right. So light break plus 300B if used on a chaos plus 600 instead, which is awesome. Light courage, ooh, which is also a good card. I like the shield. Plus 400B domination if your Bakugan hold the most Baku cores plus 800B instead. That's what I call a good card. All right, luminous armor. Now this, I like this card because it just the armor looks good. I actually think I could wear that. All right, so plus four hundred, so plus nine hundred B to a chaos Baku gun, and only four energy to use. That's good. That is good. Heroic strength plus nine damage. I have two of these cards, which is awesome. Wayne, I have a friend named Wayne, destroy an evil that was not played this turn. Frattle to light, minus five, now let's do a non chaos Bakugan. And then my only R list card, and is actually, I've been told, is the most common of the R list Bakugan. R list Hyper Nelius. So 800, 8 damage for 300 to play. If you discard this card, you may play it for free. So that's. All of my cards for the newer collections. And so, now I've done that real quick. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna flash through this. This is my deck here. This is the Hydronoid Ultra deck that comes with it. So, the Hydronoid Ultra deck. I picked this up when I was up in Denver. I wasn't able to make a video of it because it just kept messing up. And when I think it will be loading, I would actually delete the video. And I actually, I really shouldn't have. But then I just got discouraged. And I'm like, you know what? Forget it. I'm not doing this anymore. So I'm going to show you guys today. So we got Constrictor. Two of those. The special card. The special card, Air Zero, I have two of those, Flame Wave, Flame Wave plus 600B, I have Deep, it comes with Deep Dive, draw a card, you may, draw a card, and you may reroll your Bakugan, Dark Waters, plus 200B, and you may reroll your Bakugan. I have two of those in here. Mud Pit, which is, uh, I believe that background is called Trunkander, Tr Trunkanderous, 
Uh, comment down in the comment section below, guys, if you know the name of this Pokemon, because it's kind of hard to pronounce for me. So, plus 400B. Flo, if you have played another card this turn, plus 4 Frost Bite. That's pretty good. Water to Ice. Plus 5 damage if that Pokemon is holding a shield. Draw a card. So, that is awesome. Aquas Splash, which is goddamn, which is a lot. <laughs> I can understand now why they put Aquas Gortheon with only 200, with only 200, uh, with only 200 B power in this deck, because I can use this card on it, and that'll be like no laughing matter anymore. Plus 1,200 B for only 5 energy. That, that, my friend. Is worth it. So blinding ink with Aquas Corcellios doing that again. Negate an action card that costs three energy or less. So that's pretty good. Freeze Fade Ninja putting some ice on Maxator's face. Stop a Bakugan holding fists. Rain fist. Deep freeze. Stop a Bakugan holding. A shield or a helix, which is actually pretty good. Lightning, which I like. I like the lightning card. It's really cool. I like the lightning card. When you open a box on it, it gets plus three damage. Shadow dogs. Also, I got a couple of these. You must reroll your box gun. If you, if you open on the reroll, that box gun gets plus 400 B and victor. An opponent must discard. Two cards for four energy. Not bad at all. Darkest Snare. Stop a Bakugan holding Magic Shield. Sh Sonic Shield. Stop a Bakugan holding Fist or Flame Fist. Dust to Dust. That actually is looks like a good pun. That would be Dust to Dust. Plus 300B. Sacrifice. You may discard a card to draw two cards. So, it's pretty good. Thunderbolts with Phages there. Actually looks like that. That would be a good design for my uh, Valtrek dragon that I am drawing. That Phaedrus there. So Thunderbolt plus three damage. Mind control, which this is a AR rare card. I do like this. Your opponent reveals their hand. You may play an action card from it for free. Gain its effect and put it in your opponent's discard pile. So that is pretty good. Shadow Cloak plus 10 damage if that Bakugan is holding being a shield plus Shadow Strike. So that's awesome. Darkest Petrify minus 5 damage. Dark Path plus 300 B power. And that is it for the deck. Yeah, cards are pretty uh, expensive. I'm kind of worried if I went too slow. I could have had to make a different part to it. So, but now that is the deck. So now I'm going to go into the Elder Bakugan, I call them. Let's go start with the old Bakugan cards. So, I the good ones that I have, I decided to show. The ones that were in good condition, even though of the age. I have Late Sunrise, plus 200. For the Chaos Bakugans, two, so it requires two wins. So, play during the battle on your enemy gate. Add G power based on attribute. So, that's pretty good. And guys, actually, I kind of thought about what if I did a Bakugan battle and we used the new Bakugan but the old rules. What do you guys think of that? Comment in the comment section below if you guys want to see that. Also, have Late Tide, which works for Aquas. So it does the same thing as Late Sunrise, but Late Tide does the same thing. Here's a metal card, Double Ground. Instead of getting just one gate attribute bonus in this battle, your Baku Mutant gets both. So that's pretty good. Meta Dragonoid, this looks pretty good. Each player with a Meta Dragonoid may respin up to two times the start of the battle. That is good. I also have Core Strength. I actually came up with a uh, strategy using this along with my Striker Flag. 
which you can see over there. If there isn't a Bakugan in this battle, the Bakugan with the lowest G power wins this battle. So that's good. Tourney Field 2. That looks really good. And then this is Lift. You guys might not be able to see that, but that is Lift. So the player with the most good cards in their G power may not play ability cards. Ooh, that's bad. Tourney Field 3. And then double jump, which is the same thing as double ground. Instead of getting just one gate, attribute bonus, Baki Mutants get both. So that's so that's that. Alright, so guys, that is it for all these cards. So now I'm gonna show you guys the old. My older Baki Mutant. And they're pretty strong. So starting off here. So starting off here, I have Aqua Striker Flyer. Aquas, I, mean, I got Aquas Stalker Flyer, Chaos, Camel Surge, Horridian, and Darkest Magma Storm, Raisian, if I said that right. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go from weakest to strongest. So first off here, we have my Chaos Striker Flyer. It is a neat Bakugan. It's a neat Bakugan. I do love the design. The colors, the colors on it, very nice. Um, as you guys can tell, the wear and tear, the paint has been coming off for a while. Um, that's the code. Too bad I can't play the game anymore. Actually, I never played it. I wanted to play it, but when they shut it down, I was like, damn, now I can't use Pokemon. But anyway, it's cool here, so... It is Aquas, so let me see if I can get it to low. Alright, Shaka Fly. Bakugan Bra. It. <laughs> oh well. And. Boom. That. That's also because of old age as well. It will. The wings will just flop on down. But so yeah. This is Striker Flyer here. So let me fully open him up. I do like how Striker Flyer looks in the anime in the old anime it looked really good so this is striker flyer has 680 b power the head actually does go back but it's like really gotta force it to do that and i and if i did it's like i'd worry it might break it so i really don't do that and well i did it once so i knew it would but I don't do it anymore. Got a second magnet on his back. Here, this is where the Baku gears are. You know, as you guys would be able to tell from the two little bags. So, this is Aqua Striker Flyer. And back then, I did have a Darkest Striker Flyer as well. Had, I think, 780? I am not sure anymore. I don't have the Baku gun anymore. All right, okay, that, that, that's the strongest one. All right, here is my Chaos Heridian. It's actually one of my favorites. It's Camo Surge, as you guys can tell from the design. This is Chaos Symbol. It looks like the tail will be a club as well. And uh, it has here, here, there's the main head. So let me see if this Bakugan was open for me for us today in this video. Bakugan bra. Yeah, yeah he kind of doesn't want to open today, guys. But okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, things that can happen from old age. You might be able to see that in this video. Hashtag old age Bakugan. <laughs> All right, so put out his legs. Put out his feet. And so, there we go. This is Heridian. Now, my Chaos Heridian here, uh, I do like the designs. Um, the red for the main head is the only thing here. Um, I do like the texture here underneath. Nice here. And uh, you guys won't actually be able to see the b power because that's actually gone but 
it's 1,000. So I remember that by heart. Plus, I write them down, too. So in case they do end up coming off, I remember them. So that is my Horidium. Okay. All right. Now, the last and strongest out of all my Bakugan, if I was to count, using those two, but this is Darkest, um, this is Darkest Lava Storm Resident. This Bakugan actually was broken. The little lever in it that holds in the head actually came off, and I had to take the time to literally fix it. It took me three years just to figure it out. I was younger, and then I was like, you know what, last year, I was like, okay, you know what, I just want to do this again. I want to try it again, because I know this can work. And I finally got it. So I do like the fact that it is uh, kind of like, a, what, is that a camo green, swamp green, and gray? Color, the color does tend to go in nicely, and then does have a bit of yellow as well. See the red of the eye right there. Okay, so, Resident, you open for us. 3, 2, 1, Bakugan, bro. Yeet. Okay, come on. Okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so, here is Ryzen. Ryzen, it is one of those. Okay. The feet will kind of hang a bit in his ball form. And so, then here's something that I noticed... Um, I always thought when I had a when I had this resident, its mouth it wouldn't open until I took a closer examination and saw that there were a couple little nuts right here where the lower jaw is. So I just thought, hmm, let me try this, and then that's when I realized I can open his mouth. Yay! <laughs> so now his mouth can open. Good on you. I'm, I'm just gonna leave you open because you're awesome. All right, so guys, that's it for my cards, and that's it for my elder Bakugan, which I call him. So now it's gonna be on to my cards. Oh, wait, I just realized I just realized I forgot something. I have a couple Baku suits, some battle suits as well. They're both the same thing. They're, um, Corbrux. They're Corbrux. So, I'm going to need your help for this. I have, um, one that is 220, I believe. And they haven't opened in a long time. So, they haven't opened in a long time. So, <laughs> yeah. With this 220, 220 G's. And then the Chaos one has 200. So they haven't opened in a long time. Mm. Wow, gonna have to work on them later. Yeah, that's what happens when they stay closed for a really long time. Gotta work the magnets. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna set them aside. Let me make sure. Yeah. Yeah, being stuck for a long time. Bakugan that can be stuck for a long time. They can, well, they might not want to open again. So, guys, be sure that if you have some old Bakugan, take care of them. So they don't end up, you know, getting stuck and solidified for, for all the time and eternity. But that's how it's supposed to stand. Okay. Alright, so now I got pretty much most of the cards and the buff and my few elder buff done out of the way. I'm going to show you guys now all of my newer Bakugan. My newer Bakugan. So got all the Bakugans here. As you guys can see, 
So then they're, they're not gonna be they're not gonna be perfect, but they're just gonna be kind of scattered all over the place because I I do try to conserve time when I make my videos. Uh, the max limit on my videos I intend to do is like 40 minutes. I might have to make an exception. So, sorry guys if this video goes longer than you expect. But, I don't know how to skip in these videos. And I kind of like filling everything off. Okay. So, just, just getting them all here. All here together, whatnot. Mm -hmm. So there, there we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work this out later, guys. Don't worry. So okay, okay. Follow me. Got it. Okay. I said not perfect, but still. I would have had one extra one, but actually, it got ruined in the wash. Yeah, that's tragic. So, I always actually wonder what's kind of in these things. It's a little tiny thin piece of metal. Little tiny thin piece. Actually, is it over here? But anyway, if you guys make sure you do not have anything Bakugan in your pockets when your pants go into the wash. If they do, you just messed yourself up. You disgraced the Bakugan name. I had to go through a purity test just, just to make sure that didn't happen again. So I have them all set up. So first thing I'm going to go for first is my Ventus Serpentis. These you guys might remember this bug gun from my first ever video. Yo, and from the recent bug gun battle. So he won't exactly open all the way, but let's see. Will he open today? Serpentis, come on down. There we go. There we go. So this is Serpentis. Here, my Ventus Serpentis. I really love him. So, he has 600 B power. He has 600 B power and plus the damage. If he lands on a green fist, which I did drop him on, he gets plus 4 damage. So, 4 double green fists for him to be used. Yeah, that would be 606. So, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, actually. So, it's pretty easy to close the panties. Just push down the head. Put it in the wings and then the little tail part. Just close it. There you go. Now, this one is my Mantanoid. My core Mantanoid I got when I was up in Denver. You guys might remember him from being from... He was on my shoulder when I was out walking at the park for a little while. I figured it wasn't long, but hey. It was still good. Okay, so here's my Mantanoid Ultra. Okay. Hey, there we go. Alright, so let me switch hands here. Mantanoid Ultra. You just picked up another core. <laughs> Mantanoid Ultra has 500 B power and plus 2 damage. It comes with a fist and a normal shield. It's pretty easy to close core Mantanoid. Just fold in the head and push back the body. So, there. Now, this is my first ever Bakugan. I actually got this before I ever started doing YouTube videos. I had the account, but I never did the YouTube videos. And so, this is my first ever Bakugan. Ventus Mansonoid Ultra. And I love this guy. I love this guy. When I saw him, I loved him. And that made me say, you know what? I'm getting Mansonoid Ultra. That's it. I'm getting Ventus Mansion my Ultra. And so if I was to be any other player besides a Chaos Brawler, I'd be Ventus. Especially using this guy. Okay. Let me see if I can get this right. 
Bakugan Brock. <laughs> oh well, he opens. Alright, so Mantanoid Ultra is Mantanoid Ultra has 600 B and one damage. So that's what Mantanoid here. I do like the design. Especially kind of the racetrack lines on his back. If you guys can see that there you go. You guys will also remember Mantanoid from the Bakugan video. Okay, so now guys, I'm gonna show you the correct way. How to close Mantanoid Ultra. Alright, so first put in the head and fold in the pincers. Then fold the body in half. Yeah, do not close up the bottom part first. Because that was just that would just hurt the bottom part right there. So fold this part up like this. Fold in the little wing appendages. Fold in the head, then the tail. That is how you're supposed to close a Mantanoid Ultra. Closing in the Closing in the abdomen first, then trying to push in the head and the pincers in, that can damage them. It might not do it all the time, but over time, it will. Alright. This is my only Pyrus Bakugan right now. This is Pyrus Cornelius. It, it has 200 B power, but it came with this card. You guys will get this, this um, strange combination in the Bakugan Hydronoid Ultra deck, the darkest Hydronoid Ultra deck, two helixes. It comes with the it comes with a uh, flaming fist and a shield. So, yeah, so that's actually pretty interesting. Uh, the Pyrus Bakugan is supposed to have just one hundred B power. The Pyrus Nina's Ultra hasn't even been released to the public yet, so. Yeah, but it's it's nice. It's a nice Bakugan, nonetheless. I do like it. I like having this one on my shoulder. And I like how they have the Bakugan now. They're more uh, tech-like. They're more tech-like. So, let me roll this one out. And this is Nelius. Okay. So, I realize I've been on this thing for like... What, it's been 37 minutes now? Not bad. Alright. These are my Pegatrixes. These are my Pegatrixes. Here. I have Chaos and Darkness. Alright. Yeah, so that's them both right here. And then, here are the cards. Alright, so. Chaos Pegatrix has 500 B-Power. And plus two damage <laughs> comes with two fists. And if she lands on a fist, gets plus 200 B and two damage. Darkest Pagatrix has 200 B plus five damage. It comes with a shield and a fist. Okay. So, that's these two. I, I like the Pagatrix. It turns out, um, for multiple Pegatrixes or Pegasuses, it's actually called Pegasi. So that's neat. I never knew that. Here is my Chaos Nelius Ultra. Yeah. Bakugan Brock. Hey, they just don't seem to want to stand on straight. Hashtag epic, hashtag epic fail. But they're still good Bakugan nonetheless. If you guys want me to do just a rollout video where I just roll the background everywhere, show me. Comment down in the comment section below if you guys want to. Okay, there really is no correct way to close Nelius. But he's the way how you close him. If you guys want to see the videos of them being closed, just go to the background. Just go to the, either the background website or go to the background YouTube channel, which is on here. I might be able to put that in the, in the description. Alright, so this is my Arliss Mazatora Ultra, my second. Okay. Bakugan Brawl. Hey, there we go. Arliss Mazatora Ultra. This is his card. This is Nelius Ultra's card, if you guys didn't really see. 
400 plus 5 for Nelius Ultra comes with a shield and a fist. Maxator Ultra comes with a shield and a helix. Plus is 600B plus 1 damage. If he lands on the helix, it is plus 200B and plus 3 damage. So that'll be, that'll be 803. So not bad. Not bad at all. I actually do like the sound of that. So Nelius is just going to hang out over there with Maxator and the pack aside and everything. All right. Uh, this is my highest V-powered Bakugan today. This is Trox, Darkest Trox, and it has a lot of V-power. Okay, Bakugan bro. Oh my god. What? Oh. Nope. Bakugan bro. There we go. Oh, he picked up two cores. Wow. Look at that. Strong magnet. Picked up two cores. So Trox has 700 B power. Trox has 700 B power. Now I I just want to take a second. I like the I like the colors that they gave the darkest body color. That neon green, the black, and the purple. That act, that just goes really well together. Uh, comment down in the comment section below. What fucking gun do you think looks best? So, he's just gonna go up there. The rest. Guys, this is his card. Plus 700. Plus 700 B power. And one damage. So, I think the higher, the stronger the Bakugan gun get, the more, the less damage they'd have. Unless it's the evolution card. This is a Bakugan that I got on my previous birthday. This is Fangzord. So when that time rolls around again, so when that time rolls around again, Fangzor would be officially one years old in my possession. All right, so I've done wrong. Yeah, so I like the cobra, especially the white skinned cobra, white scaled cobra. Ooh, really neat. I repeat, really neat. And this is Fangzor's card. Four hundred B. Plus three damage, two fists, and shadow strike. That means it's it's B power and its damage cannot be lowered by anything, <laughs> which is incredible. All right, I lowered by any attacks or abilities. If I did say that right, that's what shadow strike is. Now, this is my favorite of all the Bakugan I have. My darkest. Hydronoid Ultra. Ooh. I mean, this version is awesome. The Diamond version is awesome. The Arliss version is awesome. I want the Diamond and the Arliss version. If I get those two. Ooh, Praise the Bakugan gods. I would love this. Okay, so. Hydronoid, do your stuff. Bakugan Bra. Hey. Backflipped it a little too hard, but okay. Alright, so guys. That's Hydronoid Ultra right there. And there's this card. 500 B power, 3 damage. Awesome. All we have left is the Aquas Bakugan now. Alright. So Hydronoid is a really good Bakugan. He really is. Indeed. Uh, I love this guy. You, you you stay, you stay over here. I want people to look at you and admire your glory. All right, so now we're going into my office box. Going, I only have three of these. So this is Gortheon. This is Aquas Gortheon. Here. Okay. Hey, here we go. Aquas Gortheon here has three hundred B power. So you guys can. If you guys can possibly see. Sorry guys for the lighting. This is the only place I gotta work with nowadays. So 300. B power. And this is his card. Vic and he has Victor. Which is a draw card. Plus 300. B power. And plus. And actually. One damage. Eh. 
It's all right. Here is my core Bakugan. You'll remember him from the Bakugan case unboxing video. And actually, if you guys pay attention, the Hydrogen Red Ultra box was in the background of that video. You guys can check it out. It's called Unboxing with Mom. I might be able to put that down in the description. All right, so here is my Hydro Hydros Ultra. Not my Hydros Ultra, my Hydros Core. I've gone raw. There we go. Hmm. He, he doesn't have a strong magnet. His magnet's kind of pinpoint. It's not very strong. But hey. It's still something. Alright, so this is Hydros. This is Core Hydros. And this is a card. This is B Power. 200 damage of 6. Which is really good. And then, here is my last Bakugan. This is also my 5th Bakugan I got. It's a gift from my mom. This is Hydro's Ultra. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, so. All right, so this is the Hydro's Ultra right here. Now, Hydro's will be the outro for this video. He can stand on his feet. Why stand on your feet, buddy? There you go. Alright, so this is Hydro's Ultra. And this is his card. 404. That's even. And guys, I'm sorry this video was a long one. Long one, but this has pretty much been my collection. This is pretty much my whole collection. Comment down which one of these Bakugan was indeed your favorites out of my collection. And, I mean, it could be the pretty awesome Pyrus Nelius or the even cool Sinister Mantinoid Ultra, which actually has a strong magnet. I just picked up two. Hey, picked up two in one go. So that's good. The nice Mantinoid Ultra. Which of the Bakugan is your favorite? So guys, this has been it for today's video. And damn, I haven't realized I've gone over my time limit. That, that's alright. Comment down in the comment section below if you guys found this video interesting. And if you guys are okay with these review videos being long. If that's the case, then I can continue making more. Or I can work on shortening them a bit for you guys out there. But until next time... This has been Coex Fire. Peace out.